Hey guys, Peter here. Um, as you may know, uh, I'm a classical pianist. I've been playing piano now for about 15 years, um, and I have accompanied many groups all around the Inland Empire, and I also have many students that I teach um, weekly. Um, now I pride myself in being a, a, a fairly good sight reader, um, and it's really helped me in my career. Um, it's something that my teachers um, always drilled in us, you know. Um, make sure that you can read music really well. So we practice sight reading a lot. And it's something that I teach my students because I know how important it has been for me in my career. Um, well, the other day I received this. Um, an article posted on Newsmax stating that professors from Oxford University are trying to actually get rid of sheet music in their curriculum stating that it's tied to white supremacy. You know, if anyone was trying to oppress me with their music, it would be Mozart and Beethoven, right? <laughs> right. But really, guys, this article discusses the how music notation has not shaken off its connection with, to its colonial past, and that not removing sheet music would be a slap in the face for students of color. This is crazy, right? This information was um, kind of uncovered by the Telegraph. So I wanted to dig a little bit deeper and share with you guys um, kind of what I found. Another post from the New York Post saying the same thing. Um, professors at Oxford claim that the institution would be complicit in white supremacy otherwise. I mean, if they didn't ban sheet music from the curriculum. You know, professors claim that students should not have to uh, learn certain musical skills like playing the piano or conducting in an orchestra because it causes students of color great distress. And the vast bulk of tutors for techniques are white men. You know what? Why don't we just scrap all musical instruments in general, you know? I mean, the majority of them were invented by European white men. I know our history, and um, we have a history that might not be the brightest, but a lot of good has come from these inventions that were created in this time. And, and for musicians, sheet music is an insanely important piece of history um, that we even still use today. So I wanted to keep going and, and, and see if there's any more information um, to support these two articles. And I found this, an article in the Post Millennial According to the Associated Press, it has been incorrectly reported that Oxford is removing sheet music from its curriculum and that no suggestion had been made about sheet music or Western music notation. Whew. Actually, Stephen Rouse, the, the head of uh, university communications at Oxford, actually told the Associated Press um, that it has plans to expand its musical curriculum, but actually removing sheet music had no part in that plan. I actually think it's a good thing that they're, that they're wanting to expand. Um, I think all curriculums should really expand as we progress in society, you know? Um, and this shouldn't be just limited to music. Sheet music is the medium um, for which we can learn new music and even interpret old music. Getting rid of sheet music would not only kind of kill our history, but it would really limit our future. And it would be throwing away something so important to many cultures. I can have a piece of music in my hand, scan it and send it to any pianist across the globe. And they can sit down with that piece of music and play exactly as I do. And I think that's super impressive. It's one of the only things that, that you can do. And it doesn't matter. In music, there's no language barrier. You know, I send this music and they play it. With that being said, I'm really glad to have found all of these rumors to be proven false. Please remember to gently press that like button. It really helps support my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.